in next 10 minutes. Once we are time limited, this presentation will show you a general idea of this work, and you can find more details in our paper. In the first part, I will introduce the motivation for this work. As we know, memory corruption vulnerabilities are one of the major threats to software. So how do we mitigate it? There are three types of solutions proposed and deployed in practice. The first is vulnerability patching. This is the most straightforward solution, but it cannot mitigate unknown zero-day vulnerabilities. A second is software and system hardening, such as CFI. Those solutions can mitigate unknown vulnerabilities, but would introduce performance cost to the system. No matter the system is vulnerable or not, uh, another solution that has a good balance between security and performance is object-specific protections. It works by checking the integrity of a sensitive object to, sp uh, to stop exploitation. When deploying it, we must first answer this question, how to identify sensitive objects that need to be protected. Uh, there are three ways to solve this question. The first way is by uh, analyzing, analyzing uh, publicly exposed exploit to find out the objects that are abused. By this way, uh, but this way cannot find the objects that have not been abused yet. The second way is uh, by classing five objects based on developed uh, intentions and the program semantics. It may work, but the results may uh, deviate from the adversaries. The third way is by analyzing the target code uh, following specific attack knowledge. This way, you can find out the object from the view of adversary so that those objects are always sensitive, actually. Uh, many work follow this way, such as those. Uh, they are not, uh, but they are not a generic solution for identifying uh, sensitive objects. They focus on the uh, spe uh, specific types of exploits. Therefore, a general solution to identify and classify sensitive objects is highly demanded. To summarize the characteristic of sensitive objects, we analyze the process of exploitation and get this result. We found that exploitation is divided into two parts. One is capability upgrade, and another is a capability station. After a vulnerability is triggered, we can get some capabilities such as overflow or overwrite. However, uh, the, cap the capability is always too weak to finish the exploit. So we need to upgrade the capability to get some more powerful capability like AR, AW, or RIP hijacking. Then we can finish the exploit by staging those capability like programming. The sensitive object is used in uh, the capability upgrade. Uh, next, I will show you how those objects work with, uh, with an example. Uh, there is a overflow vulnerability, and we can construct a special package, a package with a large number in the key learn field to trigger this uh, vulnerability. Then we can use the object MSG and the TTY struct to achieve the uh, address linking and the RIP hijacking. We found that uh, sensitive objects always help the program with some uh, functionality, uh, such as the kernel use the OPIs to in uh, TTY struct to finish the uh, function pointer in working. We can use a uh, weak capability to tap those data and transform, uh, and transfer those uh, functionality to our powerful capabilities. Uh, exa for example, we can tap with uh, OPS to hijack to hijack the RIP. Uh, next, to find out the object with this characteristic, we analyze the process of uh, exploit construction. By expert, we found experts like to reverse our analysis in the uh, target program and get some knowledge about the objects of, of the target program. Then they will get some input uh, and uh, 
we will infer the effect of this operation in program based on the knowledge he learned. If the effect is making his arm, so he, they will finish the operation in the practice. If not, they will repeat uh, this uh, process. Uh, we can use this idea. Uh, so we need a, a knowledge base, uh, attack uh, action selector, uh, scheduler, and uh, inference. So we proposed our uh, solution, alpha AXP, with three units, uh, knowledge graph construction, attack path generation, and uh, sensitive, sensitive object classing file. The first is knowledge graph construction due to the heterogeneous of knowledge graph. We use the knowledge graph to represent uh, knowledge. In knowledge graph construction, we first design a analogy of a knowledge graph. We represent the object structure like the member of uh, object and get some uh, kernel memory operations like reading and writing operations. Uh, in addition, we also represent the relationship between uh, those uh, memory operation and the objects. Uh, then we, I, we add some uh, operations in user land and build the relation with memory operation. It can represent which memory operations can be invoked by user land operation. Uh, then uh, we use static analysis and uh, dynamic uh, analysis to extract those uh, knowledge from kernel. Uh, next, we need to generate the attack path uh, to find out the sensitive object. We design uh, this framework to generate the uh, attack path. We set a state port to store the state, and we will pick up a state and a, a user and operations to infer. If the result of infer is can now can upgrade the capability, we will give this uh, state a high circle, make it uh, can be selected more change uh, next and mark the corresponding object as sensitive. Uh, the infer uh, the inference engine use uh, rule based reasoning. We use data log to finish this work. We design the rules to uh, describe the knowledge graph. Uh, memory state and the capabilities. Finally, we want to classify all of the uh, sensitive objects we found. We build a data set of vulnerabilities and evaluate the object from two perspectives. Uh, one is uh, apl applied conditions, including requirements of key memory cache, capability, and the vulnerability type. A uh, second is effect achieved including writing capability, executing capability, and reading capability. Next, we evaluated our approach and set those research questions. First, we answered the first and second research question. We found those objects uh, with uh, 50 writing objects, 81 reading objects, and 112 executing objects. We also marked the, the object founded by SOTA and we can find more than them. In addition, we classify those objects into 12 levels as the slides shows. Next, we count the cost of uh, knowledge graph construction. Uh, the, the static knowledge uh, extraction process take uh, 19 minutes and uh, the dynamic knowledge extraction process take uh, 72 hours and we can get those uh, knowledge graph. Finally, we make a uh, evaluate of attack pass uh, generation. This is a demo of uh, attack pass generate. We also evaluate the heuristic used in attack pass generation. This result shows uh, those heuristic uh, increase the efficiency of attack pass generation. Finally, uh, I will do a conclusion about this uh, work. Uh, we think alpha exp can identify sensitive object, uh, a kernel object, and classify their uh, sensitivity. About able to help defenders to uh, uh, defenders to build uh, code effective defense. Alpha exp uh, constructs a knowledge graph of kernel. Uh, Alpha EXP reports several hundreds of 
sensitive kernel objects and classifies them into 12 sensitivity levels. Uh, finally, Alpha EXP provides a new idea for automated exploit generation. Uh, that is, we can first uh, generate a uh, attack path and uh, then uh, generate the exploit follow this path. Uh, thanks for listening. We are open for uh, some questions.